Let's look at some examples with cards to understand some vocabulary. So we have, we draw a card at random from a shuffled deck, observe the card, and then return it to the deck. The deck is then reshuffled, and we draw another card at random. What is the probability that both cards we select will be aces? So this is what we call replacement, or with replacement, rather. So we have a probability of two aces with random replacement. So that is the probability that the first is ace and the second is an ace. And here are these events. Um, you can just multiply those together. So we know that there is 4 out of 52. So we can do 4 out of 52 times 4 out of 52. We get 1 out of 169, or approximately equal to 0 0.0059. Another way to think about this, since we're doing two aces in a row, is we can write this as 4 out of 52 squared, and that will be important later on. Right? So, the next thing here is we have... Um, we're drawing a card on a shovel deck, keeping the card out, then reshuffle the deck and draw another card. And we have the probability of both cards are aces. So this is what we call without replacement. So we want the probability of two aces without replacement. So we want the probability that the first is an ace. And the probability that the second is an ace given the first is an ace. All right, so the first ace is easy. That's just 4 out of 52. Let's don't make this more complicated than it is. We drew a card out, so we're down to 51 cards, and we've already drawn an ace out. So that brings us down to three aces, right? So let's multiply these together on a calculator. So 4 divided by 52, close our parenthesis there for a fraction, and open another parenthesis for a new fraction, 3 divided by 51, close our parenthesis, enter, and I'm going to do math, enter, enter to get my fraction form. So we're looking at 1 out of 221, or approximately 0 .0045 there.